welcome to the Horror Show. I'm producer Dave. I'm Andrew Mercer. I'm in Fuego here. And I'm Cecil Laird. And Jaime, why do we have four people on camera at once right now? Well, because first off, happy Halloween, guys. Yes, and we all got together after roaming around Mill Avenue here in Tempe for the Horror Show to watch together collectively Ash vs. the Evil Dead, a series we have all been pretty stoked about for a while, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, maybe a few of us more than others, but we are going to have a wide range of opinions for you guys on this review. What we're going to do is review the first episode of said series. And uh, this one, of course, stars Bruce Campbell as the titular character, Ash, and it was directed by none other than Sam Raimi, who... Yes created the whole property as well as uh, directed uh, the originals, you know, and... Uh, and well, and his brother, I think, yep. the big, the, the co-writer. Yeah, so exactly. They brought back the original team. Important person to mention there, for sure. Absolutely. So, Jaime, why don't you tell everyone what this uh, premiere episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead was about? Yeah, so I guess they're taking that alternate ending out of continuity, and they're just saying, okay, he didn't oversleep, he got back to S. Martin, now he's actually working at a different... Uh, kind of hardware, convenience, hybrid, whatever you want to call it, and he's got... It's been 30 years. It has been 30 years, yes, and he has aged uh, gracefully, I guess I'd say. Yeah, sure. Yeah, hey, he's still getting tail, which is cool, you know, he has to put the girdle on again, which is kind of funny, but... He's got a whole system as to how he uh, attains it at this point. It's a very ash system, I must say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Wrought with manipulation, but, you know. Yep, and then uh, he does some boneheaded things that results in the beginning of the series and the return of certain deadites. Yeah, I think it involves a little bit of imbibing of something. He gets stoned and reaps from them. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that could happen to anybody, really. Yeah, yeah. naturally. It's I mean, so easy to overlook that when you're in that frame of mind. It's <laughs> kind of like, like it's a tail. Well, that's yeah. kind well, of Well, he was trying to read thing. some poetry to get some tail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so. naturally. It's a, it, it and, is and, a very And, and the whole reason he went to, to the cabin in the first place was to get tail. Yeah, true. Back in, in the original. So. It all correlates. And yeah. what better way to get tail than by reading that poetry from a book bound in living flesh and written in human blood. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Always yeah, makes allows sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's dive into it, you guys. Overall, what did everyone think? I'll, I'll give my opinion real quick. I loved it just because it's so great to see Ash back in action again doing what Ash does best. It was fun to see the introduction of new characters, so... And they worked well. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. I mean, all in all, it was a, a very good uh, premiere episode for me. I mean... You know, I actually really enjoyed the fact that as much as I love Army of Darkness, it got very slapsticky. It was very silly. This really kind of put the horror to the forefront. The gore factor was not played for laughs, at no. least in my opinion. Not as much, no. And yeah. the specific uh, point of view we I mentioned earlier, Andrew has not seen any of the original Evil Deads or Army of Darkness, so Clean he's slate. going yes. to do it completely fresh. So, Andrew, what did you think of it? Uh, I liked it. Uh, just being uh, kind of a horror fan, it was uh, everything you kind of wanted. It hit all the main points. The gore, like you guys said, was pretty much on point. It told a pretty good story as far as, you know, uh, like you said, it was kind of goofy how everything came about but uh it was you know it's people still coming after you and you know, it was high intensity and um, yeah, big time. <laughs> just uh yeah it was a lot of fun a lot of actually the, the it just being the pilot episode usually it's a lot of just you know go through the motions regular jokes but this was actually really good awesome dave i i'll say two things that i really liked about it were the was the fact that they, they really did adapt it for a show like a tv show yeah so they brought a team, like he, it's going to be Ash and his team versus like, the dead. Like an ensemble, right? And, yeah. and really, I, I, I like, I can see the show. Like after watching just the first one, I'm like, okay, I get it. This is kind of what it's going to be. It's going to be like a serialized, and he's going to have these cohorts who are going to help him along the way, and he helps them. And I'm really glad, even in the first episode, they did the little doll gag, mm-hmm. <laughs> which was my one of my favorite parts in Army of Darkness was when all the little Ashes attacked him and. I still, to this day, this is why I love the Army of Darkness and the Evil Dead is because it was slapsticky mm-hmm. and there was ridiculous comedy gore and especially with Bruce Campbell back in the saddle, it, it feels it feels just like the originals. No, well, and I mean it's the same director, same writers. I mean, you yeah, know, they did a really good job making it a show. It felt yeah. fresh and updated, yeah. though, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I, th- I thought so too. Well, I mean, they poked fun of his age, and they yeah, you know, he hasn't progressed very. And they made far. It, they gave <laughs> a really stupid reason like why this is all happening again. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> his character is lovable. He's a very lovable character. Yeah. Though he's kind of a dick. The aspect that he's going to have a team is what's really making me look forward to this. And Lucy Lawless showed up for like a yeah, she had a, a line, an introductory yeah. scene. She had a line. Uh, but honestly, her her little introduction. She obviously knows more than you know yeah. what of what most other people do. So well, she's uh, also an old cohort of Raimi from you know the fact that he helped produce Xena and he helped produce the Hercules show and right. stuff like that in the '90s. So, but her character intrigues me already, even after her first scene, because she knows more than everyone else does, and I want to know why does she know well, more? And from, How does she and know from more? The, from the preview, it looks like she's actually on the cops, like she's the 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 cop. Mm-hmm. We didn't even get a character name, I don't think, for her. I don't think so. Um, but she and Lucy Lawless looks like they team up to try to find Ash. Yeah. So that's what it looks like the first season. Yeah. Kind of, there's gonna be some some plot to there. And like that and guy's I, got something to do with it, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, you know, his smarminess, the, the like the smarmy uh, Bruce Campbell, uh, this character. Yeah. Ash is he's smarmy, and it's fun to watch. <laughs> and and like. <laughs> Like he does, he hits on the girl and she like holds him down. And he's like, and, he, and there's the callback, you know, I told you to cross your bike, you know, like yeah. that's what the originals were all about. And a lot of the humor, you know, I really wanted him to say, "Give me some sugar, baby." <laughs> hey, we'll that's, get that. Hey, 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 that was just pillow talk, baby. We'll, you we'll know? get there. I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. We did get one of his catchphrases yeah. by the groovy. end of the show. Um, we got I almost a nice called it though. Big was fat bad. groovy. Like, that's but you know, that was still awesome. It was still great to get it. You know. Yeah. Now let's. Uh, so and there was uh, there was a little homage to the deer head by impaling the one oh, sure. officer on, yeah. on the horns. Yeah, yeah. good though. But yeah, and that that was a fun and the scene. Clock, that was a good one. Yeah, they they did a lot. A lot. Of there was up. a lot of little Ramiisms mm-hmm. in it, which I liked. Like at one point, um, the female cop that gets introduced um, it confronts a deadite, uh, and uh, and there's a scene where they're basically in a dark room, and the way it's lit, like it fades in and out, there. and. Yeah. It, it was just it was really a spinning flashlight. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it, so it was spinning fast at first, and then as the scene's uh, going on, it starts spinning slower. I didn't realize that was slower. Yeah, slower. Yeah, and yeah. Slower. Sorry, that was actually it really was cool. very cool. Yeah. It, either way, it played great. You know, it was a, a really cool scene. So it's exciting to see the world set up, and yeah, I mean, it 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 makes sense. It's funny because I've been watching the show Supernatural. Now they're in their season eleventh uh, season, I think. And that's just two brothers cruising around in a car, taking on different supernatural monsters. And I could very easily see Ash and his new team just cruising around in, in, in a signature car and, you know, finding deadites and the deadites following them and them not being able to escape just as a series, you know? I'll be dropping that bomb and having buckets of blood compared sure. to the show you just mentioned. Sure, later. well, it was but I think stars. I think it's going to have a lot more story, like uh, overarching story. Oh, yeah. I, I have a feeling that they're going to, you know, each season will have some sort of, like, objective that they have to complete or it'll be kind of like Walking Dead where they'll, they'll get to a certain... But I like a group of characters who will come together finally at the end of season one, so that's yeah. season two, you know. Yeah. But whatever. I, I'm excited. I'm glad. It, and it's ten episodes? Mm-hmm. I think it's ten, yeah. Correct. Ten episodes, yeah. so, you know, that's so awesome. And it's already been renewed day for, for it, a yeah. second season. So. No, yeah, as we record this, before the episode even aired, it did get renewed for a second season, which obviously there's some people, they had a great reaction at New York Comic Con when they aired the first episode. But people obviously have faith in the series, and they see the same potential that we do. Yeah. Now, um, we enjoyed the story. We enjoyed, you know, the actors that showed up so far. What did we think of the gore? Because Sam Raimi is sort of known for the original movies being, mo- you know, practical. Yeah. Um, but there was some obvious CG augmentation going yeah. on well, in and a lot I of think, the gore I think, scenes. And honestly, it, I don't know how it's in the pilot episode. In the pilot episode, I'm sure that. There's a very limited budget that they could spend on the CG, but they wanted to put enough in to say, hey, look, you know, if we get a full budget, we'll make all these really cool CG shots. Sure. It was a combination of CG and practical. Yeah, no, it definitely yeah. was. And so. I think that's the best way to go at the end of the day, is use that CGI as, like, just kind of a flourish. Well, it's the shock like value, because you can actually show someone with half their face gone. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, and really there was some creepy stuff there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, um, the, the, 
transformation. The first one. Was yeah, we heads. definitely got. Oh yeah, no. yeah. It was that almost was kind of an exorcist type. Yeah, thing, yeah right? five, five kills like, in the first episode, yeah. right? It was the there was a good police amount. officer, the girl at the, the place, the landlady, the or landlady, not landlady the, the guy that that ran in. Remember? Hmm. Uh, you did, Mama, you're supposed to say Mama, please, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was very good. Guy. Yeah. And I mean, you gotta you gotta admit, it was pretty cool when he stepped on the little button and the shotgun came flying. Oh yeah, I know that was in the trailer. It was in the trailer. Yeah, it's not spoiling. But yeah, I mean that was that was fun. And that I was, was like, Ash like stepping back into Ash's own shoes. Like it was really cool. Right scene. back into it as a I really wanted him to start his chainsaw on his on his little thing. Though. Yeah, um, yeah. I was missing that too, but but it was just, still good. So um, so the guy we calling the, him El Jefe was great. That, was, that fun. was just cracking me up. And then and the music is one thing that I wanted to touch upon sure. because it started out with Ash like grooving and getting this thing going, and then the the Michigan reference at the end credits where they had. Amboy Dukes, which was uh, Ted Nugent's original band, Journey to the Center of the Mind. It was very kind of befitting, I would say. So Okay, so, you know, keeping all that in mind, we obviously enjoyed the vast majority of the show. Is there anything that we were not huge fans of in this episode? Mm-hmm. Silence tough Speaks Volumes. Yeah, it's tough to pinpoint. Tough I mean... It, it, it sowed the seeds for everything no, that we're about did, to like see. I, that's what I was saying. They did a really excited. good job to set up a series. Yeah. So, so that you know, maybe in future episodes you might be like, oh, I didn't really like what they did there. But I, I pretty much think it was a perfect premiere, especially for new and old yeah, fans yeah, yeah. of 40, the, yeah. the genre. 40 minutes and I actually I really liked the flashback that they did. They kind of like projected the, the memories yeah. Yeah. on yeah. the boxes around where he was telling the story and you know, I Keeps love his... Perspective. Yeah. I love when he goes into his narrating like over the yeah. top mode. I mean, that's why I love Bruce Campbell and he's great. It's like he just... Like stepped into his old. Yeah, he's definitely mm-hmm. recaptured Ash. Like he was, was like he was still bumbling, bike. still bumbling, but still really. Funny no, and I like and he's getting old. Heroic. I mean, they they, yeah. they joked at that. He's getting old. He still seemed to do his his fighting pretty good. Yeah. You know? uh, although that line was was really funny about the cardio. He's like, first yeah. thing I got to do is cardio. The other first thing I got to do is some cardio because my heart is jackhammering like a quarterback on prom night. <laughs> it was uh, it was oh I mean. There you go. You know, we're struggling to find anything bad to talk about. So I think that speaks volumes. And I think we all are, are we all basically in for the long haul for the season? Oh, yeah, Yeah, definitely. I'll be checking it out. Awesome. Give me some sugar, baby. Cool. Yeah. So check it out, you guys. That is Ash vs. Evil Dead on the Stars Network, which if you watch Spartacus, any of those seasons, you know it does not shy away from blood or curses. That had Lucy Lawless on it, too, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. So there's or a nudity. pedigree. Yeah, yeah. nudity. Yeah. I was there. Yep, there's pedigree for the show um, going forward, and uh, I can't wait to see what we see next. Any final thoughts? <laughs> I did really like that we got to see the swooping shot underneath in a parking lot. Yep. Because that was what defined like the first movie. That was Creature Vision or whatever. Yep, going through Spirit the forest. Coming. And so it was neat to see it, you know, like... In the urban setting. Yeah. 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 Totally, because I was, uh-huh. was in a forest before, so modernize it, man. <laughs> yeah. For me, uh, I don't know, just picking up the series for the first time, it was pretty easy to, you know, like I said, with the flashback, kind of get an idea of what's happened, you know, recap, uh, you know, why he's missing a hand and things like that, and kind of just start fresh and keep going. So I'm going to, like I said, tune in, and it's going to be, I'm excited for it. We'll I can't have, wait yeah, for we'll him to watch the OG. And we'll have, yeah, a, we'll we'll have a night. We'll have an Evil Dead night. <laughs> yep. Oh, we just need we just need Evil Dead two and Army of Darkness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's keep let's yeah. get that first one. I rewatched yeah. it recently. And, and the remake. I like the remake, but yeah, Different we could stick with Evil Dead two and Army of Darkness. They, was Bruce, Bruce Campbell wasn't in the remake? He appeared at the very he's, after credits. Yeah, he's oh, like a little. Post. It's just his face really going creepy, and that was it. Yeah, like holding a match up. Yeah, exactly. But I'm oh, sorry, I gave it away. Sorry. <laughs> Spoilers. But, uh, did you have a final thought, Jaime? I'm ecstatic. I can't wait for you know just to see how it's all fleshed out. Yep, exactly. And I agree with Jaime. I can't wait to see uh, what comes next for the next nine weeks. I'm excited that we get nine weeks worth of Ash, and that's I mean every if Saturday. If it's, 40, if it's week. 45 minutes for 10 episodes, that's Basically, five new Evil Dead movies that we're getting throughout the course of this year. Way more than we thought we were going to get out of Evil Dead 4. Sittings, yeah. That they still might make, too. They said they're going to test the waters with this series. And I think this series honestly, is good Honestly, if fine. the series is as good as the pilot, they won't need another movie. Yeah. Because this could yeah. go on for years. Yeah. Like totally. we were saying before, it could, it could end up being that... 
you know, the storyline is that it does get released into the world and it's like almost post apocalyptic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's he's king you know, he's his own king. Exactly. Groovy. So And then uh, they'll meet that other Ash that overslept, like we talked about. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? knows? Who knows? But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for our review of the very first episode, the series premiere of Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm in Fuego here, gracias. I'm Andrew Mercer. I'm pretty sure. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.